manufactured products more marketable to the, uh, not just reducing the price, but also making them affordable uh, to even export. On the VAT threshold, we, pro we have proposed in our amended report to increase that VAT threshold from 5 million shillings to 8 million shillings. Therefore, small and medium, term, uh, small and medium enterprises that have turnover of less than 8 million shillings do not therefore have to register for VAT. On ETIMS, we have had uh, farmers, avocado farmers, being asked to, pro to give uh, ETIMS receipts. We've had mamambogas who do their supplies to hotels being asked to register for ETIMS. We have proposed that this, these people be given exemption on ETIMS registration, and, they, uh, uh, and, and especially for those farmers and those small businesses that have t uh, a turnover of below one million shillings. We have had the conversation about eggs and onions and potatoes. So what you've done to protect our poultry farmers, our potato farmers in Nyandarwa and Molo, and protect our onion farmers, we have uh, proposed excise duty only on imported uh, table eggs, imported onions, and imported potatoes. This makes our, our, our onions, our eggs, and our potatoes more marketable to us and the region. To support the fight against illicit brews in the country, we have proposed a change in, in excise duty to changing it from a, a volume to, uh, to alcohol content. Therefore, those, malf uh, uh, those alcohol manufacturers that are producing alcohol very high content will now be required to pay higher duty uh, because based on the alcohol content and those uh, making alcohol of lower content now will pay less uh, duty. To support our pension contributions, because one day we'll all retire, we are now increasing the amount of uh, uh, taxable pensions from, uh, we are now increasing the amount allowable for tax exemption for pension contributions from 20,000 shillings to 30,000 shillings. So this is a big win for our pensioners. So we are moving our pension schemes to exempt, exempt, exempt. It is exempt at contribution and exempt when you receive uh, your, your, your your pension from 20,000 to 30,000. Yes, a month, per month. It's important to say this per month. Uh, we have also been appraised of the money that is allocated for junior secondary school to hire all the intern teachers into permanent and pensionable uh, terms. And, and the number there is actually 46,000 shillings, uh, 46,000 junior secondary school teachers, in addition to recruit an, an additional 20,000. Your Excellency, we are, we are very happy that the proposals that were brought to the National Assembly and the ones that we are proposing to the House are two amended documents. Because, again, I repeat, the, ex, the, the, the exercise we did on public participation was not an exercise in futility. On motor vehicle tax, in as much as we Thank agree you. that there is need to have money allocated to Ladies maintain and our roads, of the and States. those people that are using our road more and causing TNA on our roads should contribute more to us fixing those roads. The Kenya we have agreed that the motor vehicle group. tax cannot be amended and through uh, an income tax act, executives, and, and also pegging it on insurance would make would cripple the, 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 the insurance business and make it very difficult, very especially for those Kenyans who take that part of insurance, the and therefore that proposal has been dropped. Doing the finance bill of 2024-2025 that was submitted to the National Assembly for consideration by the Finance and uh, National Planning Yes, uh, Committee, in addition, there was a concern about transportation of sugar uh, from the milling factory uh, uh, to, to, to we, the farms, as the and therefore, uh, to, our parliamentary to, committee, to we have the sugar can, sorry, Kenyans we have listened to the concerns about the, the transfer of sugar, uh, sugar cane the from the farms to the milling factory. And people are asking and why sugarcane and why not coffee and why not tea. Sugarcane is very bulk and, you, and therefore the largest cost the in the processing of sugarcane is actually on transportation and like most other crops. And that is why we have recommended to remove VAT on transportation of, 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 of sugarcane from the farms to the milling factories. It, 
many of the issues for the that mobile were phone by I, I could, did mention that that mobile phone transfer services have been able to engage uh, all has been uh, uh, we have not increased that it's still it is at 15 percent the concern about foreign 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 exchange chair, uh, um, the transactions the concern about transfer in banks committee. that the status Member quo remain no additional taxes have been increased on that particular side thank you chairman Korea what has been agreed on. Members of the press, I think as you have heard from the changes that have been made to the proposals in the finance bill, which will be tabled this afternoon in the National Assembly, I think it's important to mention to members of the public, including the public spirited Kenyans who had intended to occupy parliament, that there is absolutely no debate today, it's just the tabling of the report. Debate yeah, shall begin tomorrow morning, the whole of tomorrow, yeah, and continues to Thursday, that we and we'll allow time of over the weekend we for to uh, possible from amendments from other members of the Parliament. Therefore, the proposed you uh, may have realized from the amendments that we have, have done, dropped. there are a number of things that we intend to achieve. To support besides the raising of revenue, again, is also on, uh, one reducing the to ensure living, that Kenyans have more disposable income. Vegetable you will notice from so the changes that will make it be proposed by Kenyans. the chair in the transfer of mobile services is a key concern. We are devoting more money back into the people's pockets, especially the employed Kenyans have any who have been contributing to the housing levy. The housing transfer. levy has been proposed together with the Social Health seen, Insurance uh, Fund, the, the National the Social Security that Fund, on such and now the housing levy to be tax deductible. And, and that will ensure that uh, what will be subjected to pay Kenyan, as you earn and therefore we have will be an amount less than what was there before. Now and therefore, be more disposable pay, income will be so going not to many employed Kenyans. The second thing that we intend to do is to encourage savings and investments in our country through the proposal that the Chair has stipulated in terms of pension. Uh, uh, flats, allow, allowable deductions that have been increased for uh, uh, pensions, we have agreed uh, contributions. That we to make a There's good also an allowable deduction about how to post retirement medical schemes to and ensure that, that people the on the start saving for their post retirement. And However, those post retirement savings or contributions on into a medical scheme to cater for your medical care after retirement will be tax deductible the and therefore tax free. And stand a risk of making uh, them not the other, competitive uh, in the East uh, African uh, uh, market policy and proposal global. in this finance therefore, bill this is a protection of our local and manufacturing, to uh, local manufacturing industries and products. our farmers. We as a country and have therefore, made huge investments uh, with our items, farming uh, communities. And especially therefore, we, including diapers we are intentional on protecting those farmers. That is not why you hear the proposals to, to uh, we must make sure levy that excess we duty become on a imported potatoes, country and not imported table eggs and uh, onions, and um, also the imposition of eco tax or eco levy on imported finished products. And I think, as uh, the chair has emphasized, it is imported finished products. Because when the chair and the finance committee listened to stakeholders, especially the Kenya Association of Manufacturers, a very good case was made for protection of the local manufacturing industry. Therefore, to protect our local manufacturing industry and create jobs within our economy, we are therefore levying those levies on imported finished products. Right from the border borders, the motorcycles, to sanitary towers that are imported and uh, diapers and all that. Therefore, I think we'll close it at that, unless, Your Excellency, you have something more to add. Hmm? Okay. On the transport side, on border borders, there has been a concern about introduction of excess duty on motorcycles. Again, the decision that we made last year to incentivize local assembly of motorcycles have seen a lot of uh, institutions set, settle, uh, set up local assembly of motorcycles here in Kenya. There is no reason why we must import a complete finished motorcycle from China. So we are putting excess duty on the one that is imported. But the ones that are made here locally, those are exempted. And it's also, also important to mention, to protect the vulnerable and those people at the bottom of the pyramid, the eco levy on tires has been exempted on motorcycles, on bicycles, and on wheelchairs, so that those uh, people doing that business around the border, border sector will not, and, and even wheelbarrows, so that we don't increase. <laughs> So there is no worry, there is not going to be increase in the price of wheelbarrow or motorcycles or, 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 or tuk-tuks or bicycles. Thank you very much. All <laughs> Mkokoteni. Asante, there is lunch. <laughs>